Hi, and welcome back uh, to my channel. So this, is, uh, this episode is a uh, continuation of uh, episode 8, where I use the HackerF uh, to receive uh, FT8 messages on the 40 meters uh, ham radio band. And uh, so uh, to do that, I simply just connected uh, the HackerF. Now uh, it has the porta pack here mounted, but it's bypassed. So this is just the plain HRF, and I deconnect it uh, with uh, uh, just the telescopic antenna that you get with the basic uh, HRF packet. Now, uh, so uh, for all the details about the software I used, uh, for example, this is SDR Angel. Uh, please, if you're interested, please just go watch episode eight. So in this uh, episode, I would just um, I'm just going to try to uh, modify the setup slightly. I'm putting between the antenna and the HRF this uh, uh, 14 meters uh, low pass filter that we already uh, analyzed in some of my videos. And um, so the idea is that, you know, the, the antenna here is receiving a lot of uh, frequencies uh, that are not pertinent to what we are trying to uh, get on the 7 megahertz uh, band. And so the idea is simply to filter out uh, most of it and to, uh, to give a cleaner signal to the HRF. So I'm not really sure if this is going to, to provide an improvement. That's why I, I am uh, running this experiment. So uh, as you can see now, the, um, so now the HRF is running and here we have uh, SDR Angel. So let me just uh, uh, turn on a little bit uh, the audio here. So uh, you have to go to SDR Angel. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. And increase the audio slightly so you should hear it. I hope it doesn't annoy you too much with my voice. So I made a modification compared to um, my previous uh, video. I, uh, I'm not sure if I did it before, but I enabled this RF amplification here. So this gives a, a boost of 13 uh, dB in a, you know, this low noise amplifier. Otherwise, the setup is very similar. And I just uh, observe uh, the following interesting uh, thing that I think uh, you will. Uh, so, before showing you that, uh, this is uh, um, uh, WSJX, uh, um, uh, sorry, WSJTX uh, receiving the, the messages just as uh, the last time, okay? So, it's working currently. I received this, I observed this uh, phenomenon, which I mean, uh, it should be kind of expected, but. So if I touch uh, the antenna, of course I am expanding it uh, outside the uh, connection with my body and looks what happened. So the, there is a lot of more noise, but also the, 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 the strength of the signal is really, uh, I mean, the audio comes out uh, much louder. So I don't know if this is going to improve or not uh, the reception. I'm going to try. I cannot stay here 12 hours with my finger attached to the antenna. So uh, to simulate uh, an additional ground, I connected uh, this uh, banana plug here uh, with this alligator clip uh, connected to this alligator clip here. So this is something used uh, typically in a multimeter. And I'm going to attach to the base of the antenna just to give this uh, additional gain. Uh, so you see, now it's getting much more noise. So I'm going to run the experiment this way. So um, just for the for this for the continuation of this video, I'll, oh. okay. So sorry about that. So just for the continuation of this video, I'm going to silence uh, the audio. But as soon as uh, uh, we start again, I will uh, reintroduce the audio. So this is just a different setup, um, as I was saying, and uh, so filter plus uh, additional ground just for the fun of it to say to see if uh, it makes any difference at the moment i'm already collecting of course uh, messages and these are currently shown here so so far i've got nothing against air, air outside uh, europe so oh well i'm starting to get some uh, signals pretty far away so interesting so let's see what happens in 12 hours. I hope to get uh, perhaps something more than the last time. The last time I got a couple of signals from the East Coast here and uh, one signal from Kazakhstan and one from Central Russia. So that was uh, pretty cool. And uh, so I will see in 12 hours or 24 hours if I can make, uh, if this, uh, if this uh, different setup makes uh, an improvement. Okay, that's all uh, for this video. Bye bye.
Hi, welcome back. So uh, this is just a quick update. As you can see, the the, um, the setup is running as the Air Angel is uh, is decoding the signals and um, and here we are in, um, in the packets uh, uh, receiving uh, process of WSJTX and we are more or less uh, about one hour after the the beginning of the experiment, as you can see. So the first message was about. Uh, uh, at around 18.21 uh, universal time, now it's 19.14, so not even uh, one hour. And uh, so yeah, I just want to show you what are the partial results so far of this experiment. So um, this is the result, so as you can see, uh, we got a lot of contacts. The first, uh, away, first the furthest away is uh, from China here, uh, incredible really. Uh, Central Russia, again Kazakhstan, uh, Israel, uh, so really a dense map here collected in Europe. Um, so compared to the other time, so this is a screenshot of um, uh, the results of the, the last time after 12 hours, uh, there, there are some definite improvements here, okay? so. Okay, yes, the last time we got also these uh, results in, uh, in the east coast of the United States, a few contacts, but the density of contacts now in, uh, in Europe is definitely much higher. So there is some kind of improvements here. And so after one hour, I'm already kind of satisfied. And, um, and so I want now to, to stop the setup and uh, remove this uh, sort of additional ground, uh, as I called it. Uh, so I'm going just to disconnect this now and see what happens in the next uh, few hours or so. Okay. And uh, accordingly now as the angel has probably, yeah, you can see in the waterfall is dropped uh, even here. You can drop, the, uh, yeah, it dropped in uh, in strength somehow, but let's see, maybe maybe the, the, that was just noise and was not uh, in, increases the signal performance so we will see what happens in the next few hours so this is uh this is all for for the moment i see you later again hi uh good morning it's morning now and we are about uh, 10 hours after the last uh, part of the video so let me show you um uh, wsjtx is uh, still the coding messages and we are now at uh, 640 uh, universal time and uh, i believe uh, when we stopped the experiment yesterday it was 1820 or something so i mean when um, we changed the setup uh, uh, in the last part of the video so yeah this last uh, 10 hours uh, we ran without the additional ground so just with uh, the basic uh, rf with the basic uh, whip antenna and the only thing is uh, to have a 10 megahertz uh, low pass filter between the antenna and the HRF and uh, so this is uh, the result as you can see it's uh, incredible really it's amazing to, to get this type of signals with a whip antenna inside a flat remember so I got uh, this message from China the United Ar Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Morocco, uh, I think this is the Canaries Islands, uh, Canada and the United States up to Minnesota and also Louisiana. Wow, um, a message uh, from the Faroe Islands. Um, yeah, it would have been cool to receive. So oh yeah, there is a message also from Brazil. That's absolutely, I think, the first, the furthest away. Unbelievable. So this is about 10,000 10, kilometers. I cannot believe this. Um, yeah, just now as a comparison, uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's see. So at the moment, the, the website is showing the messages received by me. So let's see the messages received by everybody on this band. So the 40 meters, let me click here. Uh, by everybody, right? In the last uh, tw 24 hours. So yeah, you can see that uh, this is more or less the density of all messages, right? Received by everybody. So I think I received more or less everybody in Europe <laughs> or close to it. So really, um, as you can see, um, yeah, except in France. So for some reason, 
reasons I do not get many messages in France. So let's see if there are any actually. So yeah, you see in France there, there is some activity, honestly, that I'm not getting. So for some reasons, if the message is, seems to be too close to where I actu I'm actually am, I cannot receive, the, receive it. Anyway, so just, um, so let me uh, put again uh, uh, the result. So this is the my uh, reception. Oh, this is also pretty far away, but only 7,000 kilometers, not 10,000. Um, so to compare with the results that I had uh, without um, the filter, these were the results. So, so I think there is a clear improvement here. And um, yes, I believe that the reason is that um, the filter allows basically to clean the signal for the HRF and especially the FM broadcast signal, which is uh, the strongest signal that you have typically um, at around 100 megahertz. So the HRF can, you know, it's not overloaded by that signal. So that's the explanation I could give. And also considering how well uh, this second phase without virtual ground uh, performed, uh, I think, yeah, this idea of, uh, you know, connecting uh, the ground, the mains ground, uh, to uh, the exterior part of the antenna really is not improving the performance. So at least this is my feeling. Uh, of course, this experiment is nothing too scientific. It was just a basically a random test just to, to check out if the filter uh, seems to make a difference. difference. And I believe uh, it does, yes. Okay, so that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and feel free, of course, to leave a comment uh, below. Bye-bye.